Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome to part two of my Malwarebytes 2.0 review. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the removal capabilities of the new version of Malwarebytes, which is 2.0 or 2.0 and some other junk because they've actually updated it a little bit. So I have a computer here that is um, really infected with a lot of adware. It's got some type of virus called a postal. Um, I just loaded that and it's got a few other viruses on here. Um, I loaded like five viruses total um, that I received via email. So who knows what's going on here. Um, it's very slow and a lot of the times there will be a window, let me see if I can trigger it, that pops up and just puts this whole Internet Explorer session into full screen. So as you can see, when I open up my browser, it goes to Conduit. Um, it's got a big old, you know, ad down here saying, you know, download some crappy piece of software. My drivers are out of date. <laughs> Just, you know, a bunch of adware. So, so um, yeah, it's kind of funny. What I wanted to show you is when that... Um, pop-up comes up and I, everything just goes full screen it's really annoying but I guess it's not gonna happen I've closed it like four times while I was getting ready for this but let's go ahead and close that so what we want to do in this video is uh, see how how well Malwarebytes removes this adware these viruses and things like that we want to get this PC as close to clean as possible and the way we're going to measure that is do a full scan with Malwarebytes 2 remove anything it finds and then we'll follow it up with a scan um, like a Kaspersky rescue this scan and see we'll get a second opinion see if Kaspersky missed anything so I've actually downloaded it just a second ago it's the latest version 2.0.1.1004 and we'll just go and run it And like I said, we are going to be doing a full scan. We'll turn on, you know, the scan for rootkit options, even though I'm sure we don't have uh, any rootkits on here. Um, am I going to enable a free trial? Sure. We'll treat this as a free trial deal. A free, free trial allows you to actually run a real-time version of Malwarebytes, which blocks malicious websites as well as malicious uh, processes. It's pretty awesome. You can run this alongside your regular antivirus, no trouble that I've seen so far. Um, and you can have two forms of protection instead of one. So, very nice. So, it's, ne it's uh, never been run Yeah, Okay. It's been updated, and we'll go ahead and say settings, and let's um, make sure it's, so you can see our, already it's starting to block stuff. Let's go ahead and do a, a scan, actually. That's what I meant to do. We'll do a custom scan. Scan for rootkits. We're going to treat uh, potentially unwanted programs as malware and unwanted modifications is malware. So you can see how often that the real-time version of, or the, the premium version of Malwarebytes anti-malware actually starts blocking stuff. We can see these pop-ups coming up every once in a while down there. So yeah, if I open up Internet Explorer, let's see what happens really quick. We get a pop-up saying it's blocked, you know, potentially an unwanted program. And it, I don't know if it'll load or not. That is weird. Yeah, so yeah, that's awesome. Malwarebytes just blocks that conduit BS stuff. It has blocked a Trojan, Trojan.s protector. So it's already going to work. I mean, it's already doing what it's supposed to do. What you paid your twenty four ninety five for, or whatever it is. I think it's something like that. So here's this massive pop-up that comes up and just blocks us out of whatever we're doing. 
The only way you would be able to get rid of it is to task manager and you know close that Internet Explorer session. But we're not going to even worry about it. We'll go ahead and make sure everything's turned on. I um, don't really want to scan for archives. I really don't care about them. Um, I'm going to go to scan uh, the C disk, our main hard drive, which has basically everything, and we'll start to scan. All right, that's going to take quite a while, I'm thinking, so I'll pause this, and I'll be right back. So just real quick here, um, you can see without Malwarebytes, malware bytes, if I could say that right for once tonight, how often your computer tries to get to something on the net, tries to you know, communicate with like a command and control server, or um, you know, send out spam, attack other computers on the net. When your computer is infected, it's constantly communicating on the net, and um, you can see Malwarebytes constantly blocking stuff. Um, just a second ago, before I opened my big mouth, uh, there was a red box popping up nonstop. Uh, but of course, as soon as I go to talk about it, now it's not going to. It's really annoying. Okay, there it is. That's one of them. So, but this stuff has been popping up just nonstop while I've been scanning. So, it's pretty wild. Sit here and look at it for a second. So that one thing is back now. So my screen is completely taken up by this really bad ad. I have no idea the purpose of it. So anyway, we'll come back here in a few seconds. Once this thing is done, it should be almost done. Yeah, so here's some more of those pop-ups. I, uh, pretty much cannot do hardly anything on here at all. Um, I have to use Alt-Tab just to kind of get around. Um, and these pop-ups come up every couple of seconds. So, it's crazy. Well, it has taken forever and it's still going. Um, it's actually stuck. It's stuck on um, some kind of uh, Windows, WinStore, I don't know, some kind of metadata package. And uh, you can see it scans 64,008 uh, objects. Detected 59. We're going to have to go ahead and cancel it. It's been going for, oh, I've left it go for an hour and 30, so this has been a pretty big commitment here. Uh, so we want to go ahead and cancel the scan. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do is review detected items first. So you can see it's a lot of adware. So we'll go ahead and cancel it. Not sure what was going on there. Or if we can cancel it. Looks like it's stuck. Great. I knew I should have done this review tonight. <laughs> well, not much I can really say right now. This sucks. All right. Well, I canceled it, and um, I'll try to let it go and see if it actually stops. Probably won't with my luck. Uh, let's pause. Well, I gotta admit, this didn't go the way I thought it would go. Um, I can't really continue on with the review because Malwarebytes has kind of failed to do its full scan. It's pretty much uh, frozen up on, locked up, whatever you call it, on an object here. So maybe this will help them out if they see this video. Um... So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and stop the video and upload it. Um, I might continue on to uh, part three, maybe in which we do like a, uh, uh, a full scan in safe mode. So I want to reiterate what I did. I loaded a bunch of adware, 
not tons, uh, well, maybe five different objects uh, and about five different little viruses I received via email. So, and that's where we are right now. So guys, let me know if you want me to continue on to part three. We'll try this in safe mode and see if we can get a full scan. But right now, scanning in normal mode just kind of failed. So uh, that's it. Thanks a lot.